to fall heavy into the blocks. So as you inhale, you feel the rib cage expand, you feel the chest rise, you feel the heart open. And then as you exhale, you exhale out completely, you let the body melt into the blocks. So really connect and focus here on your breath. As you inhale, count to four, and then pause at the top, hold for four. And then as you exhale, exhale for four. Even breaths, long, slow inhalations, followed by long, slow exhalations. Allowing the fingers and the toes to fall soft. Relaxing the jaw. Relax the jaw so much that your back teeth don't even touch. Calming the eyes and the eyebrows. The skin of the face is smooth and soft. And as you let the body melt more, you come into that yoga state of mind. We call this beautiful state. To that beautiful state where you could truly just let go right now. Anything in your life that is negative, that is no longer serving you, you have the ability here in this beautiful state to let it go. Bringing in that light, bringing in that positivity. That's what keeps us strong. That's what creates passion and inspiration, not only in our practice in the yoga room, but outside of these walls. It makes our quality of life out there better. Go ahead and set an intention for your practice today. Or a goal. And then nice and slow, go ahead and let the arms come alongside body. Hands and forearms into the mat. Press hands and forearms into the earth, tuck chin into chest, and rise up off of your blocks. Use the core to rise up. Take your blocks, set them back over to the side, and come right back down onto your backs. All the way down, circle your arms up and overhead, stretch really big, pulling the body in opposite directions. Inhale, and then exhale, hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a big squeeze. Go for a tight grip here if you can, off, grabbing opposite elbows, opposite wrists, or just interlacing all 10 fingers. You can take your knees in circles to the right, kind of bring movement into this cannonball shape, or you can stay completely still. Whatever feels good for you in your practice, that's what I want you to do. Once you've done a couple on each side, coming back to that stillness. Now keep your right knee hugged in. Interlace all 10 fingers below that right knee and extend your left foot out long onto the mat. Flex left toes back, getting that calf to connect to the mat so that leg shoots out straight. We're bringing flexion into the right knee and extension into the left leg. Center your breath. That ocean like breathing, audible breathing. Now keep your left hand connected to the right knee. Extend your right arm out long. Inhale. And on the exhale, use that left hand to pull the right knee across the body over to the left as you come into a spinal twist. Exhale, twist. Deep gazes to look over the right shoulder. Inhale, coming back to center. Pull that knee into the chest. And then on the exhale, we're simply going to switch it out. So the right foot's going to come out, left knee comes in. Pull that knee in tight. Extend right leg out. Curl right toes back. Extending that right leg as strong and as straight as you can. Go for a tight grip here. Pull that knee in tight. Right hand stays connected to the left knee. Left arm shoots straight out. Inhale. Exhale, use that right hand to pull left knee across the body into a twist. Exhale, deep. 
and then looking over the left shoulder. Inhale, coming to center. Pull that right knee back in. Let's come into a happy baby. So either feet side fingers around big toes or grabbing nice edge of feet. You can even grab inner soles of feet. You can rock side to side here. Do whatever feels good. You can straighten your legs if you want. And then bring them back to a bend. Just opening those hips up. And then when you're ready, finding a place where you can settle in, finding stillness. Nice and slow, pull knees into the chest. Go ahead, let the feet come down into the mat. Cross your right knee over your left knee. So we're gonna cross it completely over like a lady sitting proper in the chin. And then we're gonna take our arms, reach them up towards the sky, palms shine towards one another. Right elbow's gonna come underneath left and we're gonna come into eagle arms. So revolving arms completely around one another. Inhale here. And on the exhale, lift the feet, lift the knees, bring the elbows to tap the knees as we come into this eagle crunch. Inhale, release. Toes and fingers tap the earth. Exhale, crunch it up. Inhale, release. Exhale, crunch it up. Inhale, release, unravel the arms, arms extend out horizontally, unravel the legs, flex both feet up towards the sky, waterfall pose. So curling toes back towards the face, pressing heels up towards the sky. A little bend into the knees is fine, otherwise squeezing, locking the knees out. Reverse blood flow into the legs. Notice if your lower rib cage is lifting off of the mat. If it is, tuck it down into the mat. Get your back as flat to the mat as possible. No space for light or air between your back and the mat. And now nice and slow, bringing the feet back down to the mat. And this time crossing your left knee over your right knee. Arms reaching up. And then this time left elbow under right elbow, evil arms. Inhale here. On the exhale, pull the elbows in, crunch it in to tap the knees. So we lift the chest, we lift the feet, we pull the knees into the elbows. Pause here, make sure you can breathe. And then nice and slow, release that. The fingers tap the earth, the earth behind your feet, come back into the mat. Inhale, exhale, crunch it in. Hold here, that pause when you get to the top. Inhale, release. Exhale, crunch it in. Crunch it in tight, tight, tight. Inhale, release that. Unravel the arms, unravel the legs. Bring soles of feet to touch. Let knees open out. Supine Baddha Konasana. You can do whatever you want with your arms. If you want to come into cactus arms, or if you want to reach arms up and overhead, or if you want to rest your left hand on your heart and your right hand on your belly. Whatever you want to do here. Taking a moment here. And now extending legs out long, reaching arms up and overhead, stretch big on the inhale. Exhale, hug the knees into the chest. Cross one ankle over the other and rock yourself up into a seated position. Go ahead, roll the shoulders back a few times. And then roll them forward a few times. And then from here, interlacing the fingers, flipping the palms forward and then up towards the sky. Now take those shoulders, lift them up, 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 up. And then on the exhale, tuck the chin into the chest, round down, push the hands forward, hollowing out the belly. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, nice and slow, coming back forward, tucking chin into the chest. Rounding, pressing those rib cages back to the back of the room. Inhale up. 
Exhale, release the hands, bringing the right hand into the earth, left arm up and over, side body stretch. If you want to get a little deeper here, take this left hand, grab the right side of the head. You keep this, this is a hook. You're going to use the head to pull yourself deeper. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, left hand into the earth, right arm reaches up and over. If you did the hook on one side, do it on the other side. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, palms are shining towards one another. Reach your hands forward. Flip both palms outward. And then we're going to connect the hands just like this. Interlace the fingers. Inhale, reach up. Bring arms behind the ears if you can. Open up into the shoulders. And then exhale, arms come back down. Bring the hands towards you. Hands come under the chin, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. It's kind of a weird forward fold here. If you want to let the elbows come out a little wider, you can. Inhale, rising up. Arms reach back oh, <laughs> up towards the sky. Exhale, slowly pull the elbows down. Use your back muscles, pull them down. Hands come behind the back, interlacing all the fingers, extending arms straight. Open the heart, lift the chest, look up, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Use the strength of your hands to keep the fingers connected. To keep the fingers interlaced. Remember to breathe, connect to the breath. The breath is what creates depth in our practice. Not just physically, but mentally, emotionally. It lets us dive deeper. Inhale, rise up. Release the hands, arms reach up towards the sky. Exhale, hands are gonna come back down. Once more, circle arms up, inhale. Exhale, right hand comes behind you. Left hand grabs right knee. We inhale first, get tall. And then we exhale, twist. Look back. The, the head, the gaze is what guides this twist. Circling arms up, inhale, reach. Exhale, left hand behind. Right hand grabs left knee. Inhale, get tall first. Exhale, twist. Nice and slow, release that. And then any way you want to get there, we're going to come into a standing pose at the very top of the mat, mountain pose. So as you come here, go ahead and circle your arms up, inhale, interlace all fingers except for the pointer finger. Inhale, looking up, come up high onto the toes, squeeze into the calves, squeeze inner thighs together to create balance. And then nice and slow, set that down. Now shift back into the heels and lift the toes slightly. And then set the toes down nice and flat into the earth. All four corners of the feet into the earth. Arms coming back down. Flip palms forward, shining forward towards yourself in the mirror. Root to rise. We root through the feet. We rise through the rest of the body. The chin is parallel to the earth. Crown of the head pulling up towards the sky. Circle your arms up. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Utmasana. All the way down. Let that head drop. Grabbing opposite elbows here if you want. Doing a couple of sways back and forth. Shaking the head, yes. Shaking the head, no. Just kind of warming up the back of the legs before we flip. Release elbows, inhale, rising up halfway, flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, hands come flat, step your right foot back. Looking forward, breathing here. Allowing the hips to sink down, getting the hips as parallel to the earth as you can, so you lengthen into the front of that right thigh. Set the right knee down, right top of the foot comes flat. Sweep the arms forward and up, inhale. Exhale, sink into that front heel, reach through the sides of the body, look up towards the fingers, low crescent lunge. Taking pinky edges of the hands, spiraling them inward. Breathe here.
Inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus arms. Pull the elbows down. Start to look up and back. Open your heart. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, hands come back down to the earth. Curl the right toes under, lift the right knee. Now option one, you're gonna step right foot forward to meet left. Option two, you're gonna step right foot behind left foot as we come into a cross. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Let that head hang. So we're getting into the IT band here. If having legs crossed is too much at any point, just uncross them, bringing feet parallel. Inhale, circle your arms up, rising to the sky. So we squeeze those thighs together, circling arms up. Inhale, all fingers except for the pointer. Reach up, and then exhale, coming up and over to the left. So we get this massive side body stretch here into the right side of the body. Lateral stretching. Inhale, grow taller. <coughs> Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. Let those right hips fall out to the right. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, diving back down, folding forward, reaching that knees. Let that head drop. Inhale, flat back, move forward. And then on the exhale, we're just gonna step this right foot right back into that runner's lunge. Hands come flat, step the left foot back. High plank, breathing here. Pressing into the mat, sending shoulders away from the earth. Inhale. Exhale, then that's the flow, either baby cobra or upward facing dog. And then pushing hips up and back, downward facing dog. Feet hip width distance apart, pressing hips back towards the back wall. In order to do this, we send shoulders out of socket like you're reaching for something. Keeping lower belly in and up engaged. Ears matching biceps. Pedal out the feet if you need to, otherwise staying still. Any little movements, little twists that you wanna do here. Be here for a few breaths. And then when you're ready, just finding that stillness. A place where you could settle in and breathe. So we're in down dog. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take one little step back. We're gonna come into a little bit of a shorter dog here. So your heels might lift up off the earth a little bit, that's fine. We're gonna take our right hand, actually we're gonna take our feet out a little bit wider. And then take your right hand, grab your left ankle. Push into that left hand and we're just gonna pull into that left back a little bit. Releasing that right hand back into the earth. Look back at your, your right ankle. Left hand grabs right ankle and then you pull to stretch. So getting that dog as short as you need to feel to grab that ankle. A little bend into the knees is just fine. Release that left hand back into the earth. Go ahead and walk yourself back out into your downward facing dog. Look forward between your thumbs, walk, step, or hop to the front of your mat. Inhale, rising up halfway, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Let that head drop, let that jaw drop. Circle your arms up. Inhale, reach. Exhale, folding straight back down, all the way down, Uttanasana. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands come flat, step your left foot back. Breathing here. So we're getting length in that left hip flexor, letting, allowing the hips to drop. Looking forward, feeling strong. That back leg is strong and straight. Go ahead, set the left knee down. Left top of the foot comes flat. Circle your arms up, inhale, reach, low crescent lunge. Reaching through the sides of the body. Taking pinky edges of the hands, spin them inward. Squeezing through the biceps, squeezing through the triceps. Sink a little bit deeper into that front leg. Look up towards your fingers if you want. Remember to breathe. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, pull those elbows 
down, dragging the muscles down the back. Open the heart, look up, start to bend into that upper back. Trust yourself to fall back. Inhale, reaching back up towards the sky. Exhale, circling hands back down to square off that right foot. Curl the left toes under, lift the left knee. And it's that same option to either step forward or step left foot to cross behind right. Extending legs as straight as you can. Inhale, flat back, rise up, flat spine. Exhale, fold forward. Allowing that IT band to release, to stretch, to pull. Circle your arms up, inhale, reach for the sky. Interlace all fingers except for the pointer for the Jupiter block mudra. Inhale, reaching shoulders up, out of socket, fingers up towards the sky, and then exhale up and over to the right. Tremendous side body stretching throughout the left side of the body. Inhale, get a little taller, exhale, sink down a little more. Inhale. Rising back up, exhale, folding forward all the way down, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway rise, hard up. Exhale, hands come flat. We're just going to step that left foot back into that runner's lunge. Looking forward rather than down, inhale. Exhale, right foot steps back to meet left. Inhale, high plank. Use this inhalation as your power breath, and on the exhale, Vinyasa Chaturanga. Using control as you lower down. Inhale into your back bend. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Anytime you can skip a vinyasa and go straight to dog or straight to child's pose, just listening to your body, flowing with what your body is telling you. Lift your right leg, three-legged dog. Go for high feet. Go as high as you can and then flex the right foot, bend the right knee. Let that right foot start to drop past the left hip as if you're gonna fall over and you get this nice stretch into the front of that right quad. Now if it's in your practice to come into wild thing, look at your right hand, point into the right toe, slowly start to let that leg cross completely over the body. Foot comes into the earth, right hand releases from the earth and reaches back, you open your heart. That standing arm, if it's shaking, that is completely normal. Breathe here. This is where we come to that point where you become comfortable with the uncomfortable, being okay with these sensations. Nice and slow coming out of this right hand back into the earth, right leg back up, three-legged dog. Inhale, exhale, pull that right knee into the chest, pull it in tight. Look to the left, flex the right foot. Step this right foot under the body over to the left. Then this left foot's gonna spin to the inner sole, right hand into the earth, left hand rises up, fallen triangle. Pressing hips up towards the sky. One more breath, inhale. On the exhale, bringing that left hand back into the earth, right, hand, right knee comes back into the chest. And then inhale, reaching right leg up and back, three-legged dog. And then flex into the right foot, bring it down to meet the left foot. Come up super high onto your toes like you're wearing stilettos. Set the knees down into the earth and push back for a child pose. Just a quick breath here in between sides to check in. To check in back, back with that intention that you said at the very beginning of class. Come back to that. Allow the body to melt. Now, if you want, you can keep hands flat or you can interlace that left hand through the right 
straight fingers. Inhale here, exhale, let the chin, let the forehead, let the chest drop. And then imagine that your hands are cemented into the ground and you're trying to pull away over to the left. You get this side body stretch. It's as if you're breathing into that left lung. You're opening up into that left side of the body, that left rib cage. Nice and slow, crawl hands back through center. Inhale, exhale, left hand comes out, one big step, right hand comes on top. You can interlace right fingers through the left hand. And then letting that chest, either the forehead or the chin, come into the earth. Hands are cemented, but you're trying to pull away as you breathe and expand into that right lung. Into the right side of the body. These lateral stretches are a great way to relieve lower back pain. Especially those who may suffer from sciatic pain. Side body stretches really, really help to relieve that tension, that stress in the lower back. Inhale, crawling back through center. Chin into the mat, looking forward. Curl your toes under, lift your hips up halfway, and press back, downward facing dog. <sighs> Breathing here. Go ahead, lift that left leg. Go for height. Go as high as you can and then flex the right foot or left foot, bend the left knee and start to let that left heel drop across over to the right. So you get this nice stretch into the quad, into the hip flexor. Now if it's in your practice to come into a wild thing, look at your left hand, nice and slow, start to let that left foot cross completely over to the right as the left toes fall into the earth. Left hand lifts from the earth and reaches back. You come into this beautiful back bend where the heart is shining. Holding here, remember if that, if that standing arm, that stability arm is shaking, that means your muscles are working really hard to hold this posture. Breathe. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, we're just pulling it back over as the left hand comes back into the earth. Left foot comes back up towards the sky, three-legged dog. And then we pull the knee into the chest. Hold here, crunch it in. Look to your right. Flex the left foot, step the left foot under the body to the right. Spin down to the inner sole of the right foot, left hand into the earth, right hand to the sky. Looking up at your right fingers, just looking past them. Breathing here, pressing hips up towards the sky. Squeezing into the side of the body to create this lift. Inhale, exhale, right hand comes back into the earth. Left knee comes back into the chest. Then comes back three-legged dog, going for height once again. Flex into the left foot, bring left foot down to meet right. Downward facing dog. Start to walk the hands back towards the feet. And then when you get there, taking your peace sign fingers, so the fingers you use to create a peace sign, wrapping them around your big toes. Inhale, and then on the exhale, pulling elbows outward as you fold forward, bringing the crown of the head as close to the earth as you can. Really targeting the back of the legs here, the hamstrings. As you pull up into the toes, you might even feel it in your calves. Letting gravity do the work here as the head falls down and the jaw drops. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, releasing fingers, still in our forward fold. Now we're gonna come into gorilla pose. So the right hand is gonna scoop underneath the right foot, and then the left hand is gonna scoop underneath the left foot. So it's like we're standing on top of our hands. Bring as much of a bend into your knees as you need to to get here. Inhale, flat back, and then exhale, using the strength of your arms to pull the elbows outward as the head drops down. Keeping the bend in the knees, or nice and slow, start to straighten it a little more. Just creating depth.
chest with eat with each breath. Let that jaw hang loose completely. When we squeeze our jaw, that brings not only tension into the jaw, but it also brings tension up into the ears and up into the head. So releasing that here and now. Nice and slow, release the hands from underneath the feet. And one vertebrae at a time, roll the body up. The head is the very last thing to rise. And then when you get to the top, reset those shoulders. Send shoulders up, back, and down the spine as our chest is held high, chin parallel to the earth. We're going to start to shift our weight into this left foot. The right heel is going to start to lift up off of the mat. And then pull this right knee up as high as you can. So we're breathing here. Now notice if this right hip comes up real high. If it does, drop it back down. We're really working into this hip flexor. Arms coming down, shining towards the mirror, looking at yourself, finding the drifty, a focal point where you can balance. Now interlace all 10 fingers around this right knee. Pull that knee in even higher. Squeeze here. Now option one. We're going to keep the right hand into the knee, the left hand's going to come to the hip. You're going to use the hand around the knee to come here, then back out to the side, and then we'll come back forward. Option two, the right fingers, peace sign fingers, are going to wrap around the right big toes. And then you will extend the leg out completely straight. So either option hand around the knee or hand around toes. Breathe here, find that balance. Squeezing through that standing leg. And when you're ready, letting that right leg open out to the right. Now do this slowly so you don't lose your balance. Keep looking at that focal point, something in front of you that does not move. And whatever you do, keep breathing. Nice and slow, bringing that knee back forward. Now the right hand's going to come to the right hip. If your right leg's extended, go ahead, bring it back to a bend. Left hand's going to come to the right knee. Right arm, nice and slow, is going to reach back. Now you can stay here looking at yourself in the mirror. If you really want to challenge your balance, slowly start to look back at your right thumb. If you fall out, that's okay. Come right back into it. Nice and slow, bringing that right hand back to that right knee. Pull the knee in one more good time. Hands reach up, extend right foot out, hold it here, squeeze, and then we're gonna step this right foot back, crescent lunge. Breathe here. So high crescent lunge here. Sinking into that front knee. Drop the back foot, now we're in warrior one. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands are going to come behind the back, interlacing all 10 fingers, extending arms straight, open your heart, lift your chest. Now you can stay here or exhale, fold forward, humble warrior. Nice and slow, rise up, arms, hands on interlace, arms reach back up, warrior one. Rolling back onto the ball, those right toes set the right knee down. Right top of the foot comes flat. Inhale, reach. Exhale, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna twist open to the left. So you're really squeezing into the abdominal muscles to create this twist. Sink a little deeper into that front knee. Get a nice stretch into the front of that right quad. And now from here, the Left hand is going to wrap behind the back. You're going to grasp for that right hip. And then the right hand is going to come on the other side of the left knee. We inhale, get tall. Exhale, look back, twist. Keep sinking into that front knee. Keep twisting, keep breathing. Squeeze those sides together to create stability, to create balance. Nice and slow, release your twist. Both hands reach up towards the sky. Inhale. Exhale, circle your arms back down towards the earth. Curl your right toes under, lift your right knee. From here, we're going to start to shift into this right hand. Well, okay, let me do, give options here. So option one, step this left foot back. 
and we're going to come over into a side plank right side. Option two, you're going to roll over onto the knife edge of this right foot and then you just step the left foot back. So side plank here, right hand into the earth, left hand reaching up towards the sky, press those hips up. One more breath, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, left hand comes back into the earth. High plank. Inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. We'll all meet in downward facing dog. Follow your breath. Start to walk your hands back towards your feet. One vertebra at a time, rolling up the head is the last thing. Once you get to the top, resetting the shoulders up, back, and down the spine. We're going to start to shift our weight now into our right foot. The left heel is going to start to peel off of the mat, and then that knee comes up. Palm shining forward. Inhale. Exhale, go ahead and interlace the fingers around that left knee, pull the knee up tight. Now option one, just like the other side, the left hand stays into the left knee, the right hand comes to the hip. We use our knee to travel forward, out, and back. Otherwise, peace sign fingers wrap around the big toes, finding that balance here, finding that focal point. Rather than looking at yourself, because we move as we breathe, Find something on the wall behind you in the mirror to look at, and don't stop looking at that one thing. Press into the right big toe, and then extend the left leg out. Now, if you're wobbling here, that means you're breathing, so that's a good thing. Keep breathing. And when you're ready, letting that leg extend out to the side. Do this slowly. Nice and slow, letting that leg travel back forward. And then we're going to bend it to the knee, release that. Breathing here. So we're coming into that twist again. So the right hand's going to grab the left knee. We're really squeezing into this right leg, strong like a lamp post. Now you can keep this hand to the hip or you can reach it back. Stay looking at yourself in the mirror or really challenge yourself by looking back at that back left thumb. Nice and slow, releasing that, whoa. <laughs> and then from here, extending that leg out straight, arms reaching up, inhale, hold here, lift that leg, lift that thigh, and then step it back, crescent lunge. Whew, as soon as you step it back, you get that relief of that lengthening through that left hip flexor. <sighs> Spin the back foot flat. Warrior one, here of Adrasana one. Inhale, reaching up like you're going to touch the sky. Exhale, letting arms travel behind the back, interlacing all the fingers. Extend your elbows straight, open your heart, lift your chest. Inhale, stay here, forward. Exhale, fold forward. Humble warrior. Breathing here. Allowing that front knee to bend. Feeling that muscle burn as it grows stronger. Slowly rise, arms reach back up, inhale. Exhale, circle arms back down to the earth, squaring off that right foot. Breathing here. And now we're coming into that lower down the knee, that left knee down, left top of foot flat. Circling arms up, inhale, reach, low crescent lunge. So sink into that front knee, get deep here. You'll feel that quad muscle start to burn. That's what I want you to breathe. The muscle burning is the muscle, is the muscle twisting and creating more strength. So breathing through that, pushing yourself through that. Inhale, reach, and on the exhale, we're gonna twist open to the right. So we're really squeezing into the side core muscles to create this twist. And then from there, taking this 
right hand, reaching back, grabbing for that left hip. And then this left hand goes to the other side of the right knee. We inhale, lengthen. Exhale, look back, twist. Use these hands into the body as leverage to use them and twist yourself. Looking back, sinking into that front knee. Always remember to breathe. It's really easy to stop breathing when we twist. Nice and slow release. That arms reach up, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hands come back down to the earth. Curl the left toes under, lift the left knee. Now options again, same options. You can step your right foot back and then roll over onto the feet for side plank. Or you can have hands into the earth, step this right foot straight back into a side plank. Breathe your lower down into the forearm if that feels better. Wherever you can create more stability, more strength, go there. Hold in here, one more breath, inhale. Exhale, right hand comes down to meet the left. High plank, inhale. Exhale, vinyasa, flow. Inhale, exhale, pushing back, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg, three-legged dog. Pull the right knee into the chest, set the right foot down into the mat. We come into this lunge. So right foot's forward. Set the left knee down, left top of the foot comes flat. And from here, the right hand's gonna come to the inside of that right knee. We're gonna come down lizard pose. So either staying high onto the hands, this is a good time to use a block. If you like to use blocks for your lizard, you can bring the block underneath the forearms or even underneath the hands. If you want, letting this right foot spin over to the knife edge, opening up into that hip more. And then options to stay here, or keeping this left forearm into the earth. Kick the left foot up, reach right arm forward, up and back, grab that foot, pull to stretch. Really deep quad stretch. So just bending that leg alone is going to create a massive stretch. Nice and slow release the foot if you grabbed it. Bring that right forearm back into the mat. And then from here, we're going to come up back high onto the hands. If you have the knife edge of the foot down, bringing it back up. And we're simply going to shift the hips back. Flex that right foot back. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold, half splits. Nice deep stretch into the back of that right hamstring. Now, if it's in your practice here to come into a full split, go for it. If you're working on splits or if maybe you just want to try one today, you could also use one block or even two blocks. I personally don't have a full split in my practice. So I like to use blocks just to get a little deeper. You get that foot down and you add the blocks underneath the leg. Helps to support you. It also helps to make you push yourself a little more because a lot of times these props, they make us feel a little bit safer. Maybe we'll go deeper using the props than we would without using them. Ah, breathing here. Nice and slow, exiting this posture, starting to bend back into that right knee. So bending forward into this right knee, hands come flat. This right hand comes back to the outside of this right foot. Curl left toes under, lift left knee, step right foot back to meet left. It's optional, optional vinyasa or straight to down dog. into the chest, set that left foot down. Very nice. Breathing here. Set 
the right knee down. Right top of the foot comes flat. Setting up lizard pose. So coming down either to the forearms to a block. Whatever feels good for you. If you want, keeping that right forearm to the earth, bending right knee, reaching left arm up and back to grab that foot, pull to stretch. Just bending the leg alone will create a deep stretch. You don't have to actually be able to grab that back foot in order to get the benefits of this stretch. Allowing the hips to open, not resisting. Nice and slow, release that foot. That hand comes back to the inside of that left foot. And then from here, we're just gonna shift the hips back, half split. That front leg straightens. Now, if having the foot flexed is too much, you can point the toe. It still targets the same muscle that we're trying to stretch. It's just a little less intense. So either foot pointed or foot flexed. If it's in your practice to come into Hanumanasana full split, go for it. Use the blocks if you want. Don't be afraid to use the props. They help us grow depth and trust in our practice. Nice and slow, start to exit this posture. And then we start to bend back forward into that left knee. Curl the right toes under, lift the right knee, step the left foot back to meet the right high plank, inhale, and then on the exhale, nice and slow, lower all the way down, flat, all the way down. Arms reaching back behind you as if you're reaching for the back wall. Palms flat into the earth. Chin into the mat, exhale. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the legs, lift the arms, fly. Breathing here. Using your back body muscles to lift. Squeeze legs together, zipper thighs together, big toe mounds and heels touching. Backs of the legs are as straight as a piece of paper. Inhale, lift a little bit higher, look up. Inhale, more lift. Exhale, nice and slow, lower that down. We're gonna do this one more time, so pick a cheek, rest. Chin into the mat, exhale to prepare. Inhale, lift. Breathing here, squeeze those legs together. Back of the knees are straight, completely flat. Start to look up towards the ceiling, looking back ceiling tile by ceiling tile as you lift, as you breathe, as you lengthen, open the heart, lift higher, one more breath, inhale, exhale, slowly coming down, pick the other cheek and rest. Listen to your heart, feel it as it pounds into your mat, your mat soaking up this experience, soaking up this class. Each and every class you come to, your mat is right there for you, right underneath you, knowing you can always come back to the mat. Bringing hands alongside body, hands 
flat alongside the rib cage. Pull the hands back until you feel them underneath the elbows. And then we're just gonna press ourselves up into tabletop. And then from there, any way you wanna get there, we're gonna come onto our booties, feet forward. Feet flexed. Take your right foot to the right corner of the mat, left sole of the foot into the right thigh. Circle your arms and you'll reach up, twist to the right and on the exhale, fold forward. Your chair soft enough, figure four, forward fold. Nice and slow, rise up. And we're just going to switch it up. So now the left sole of the foot to the left corner of the mat. Right sole of the foot into the left thigh, circle arms up, inhale, twist to the left, just a slight twist. And then exhale, folding forward over that left leg, curling left toes back to create more depth, more lengthening into this stretch. Nice and slow, rise up. Extending both feet forward in front of you. Setting up Hashimotonasana. Forward fold, toes curls back. Imagine you're trying to get your feet flat on that mirror in front of you. Circle arms up, inhale, grow tall first. Exhale, keep that length and fold forward. Now if it's your practice to fold forward with the flat back, go for it. Otherwise, you can round down. Whatever feels good for you today. A lot of times, if we tuck chin into chest and round down, you feel this nice stretch in the back of the rib cage. Kind of releases all that stickiness, all that stickiness that harbors through the back of the rib cage. Slowly rise. All the way up. Bend the knees, feet into the mat. One vertebrae at a time, rolling all the way down. Feet pulling close to the glutes. One last little movement here. Exhale, inhale, lift into the hips, press into the heels to lift the hips. Bridge pose. Now you can use a block here for supported bridge if you want. If you did your practice to come into Urdhva Dhanurasana, wheel pose, full back bend, bringing hands back towards the shoulders and then pressing up whenever you're ready. Coming down at any point, whenever you're ready, holding this posture as long as you please. Holding here for about five full breaths, but coming down before that if you need to. Any variation of wheel you like to come into if you wanna rise one leg, and rise the other, or maybe straighten both legs. Whatever feels good, be playful here. This is kind of a freestyle moment. Nice and slow, if you're in wheel, tucking chin into chest, bending into elbows as you slowly lower down. If you're in bridge, rolling, articulating the spine back down to the mat, one vertebra at a time. Go ahead, let your knees wash from side to side. Just kind of bringing a little bit more lubrication into the hips. And then whenever you're ready, coming into a Shavasana. So either arms out, legs out. Some of us, maybe our hips feel tight. We want to come into Supine Bhattakonasana, soles of feet touching, knees open out. Let the palms face up towards the sky to represent receptivity, receiving receiving all the energy that we've built up in this room today. All these positive feelings, all this strength that we have created in here. Receiving it, keeping it, and then taking it with us. Taking yoga off the mat. Close your eyes. 
Relax your jaw. Relax the jaw so much that the teeth don't touch. The brows are soft and the space between the brows are soft. Being proud of yourself for showing up today, for coming on your mat, and for practicing. A form of self-love. Being thankful for this heart, this breath, this body. For this strength, this power, this breath. Whatever is in your life that is no longer serving you, letting it go right here, right now. Bring your hands to heart center. And then bringing thumbs to tap the lips. For the words that we say to others, we say with love, kindness, and compassion. Thumbs come to the third eye, the space between the eyebrows. For the words we say to ourselves, we say them with love, kindness, and compassion. Hands come back down to the heart. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. May the light in me see the light in you. Namaste. Namaste. Take all the time you need here in your Shavasana to let go to let be.